Hi, I'm Dr. Leah Beekman, and welcome to the first episode of SLP in Captivity. So I thought I would take the opportunity to take a part of the lecture that I'll be teaching to my class this week and throw it out there for some parents who might have some kids who either are using these words or kids who maybe struggle with this kind of language. And I thought I would give you a little help by showing you some of the commonly used slang and giving you the definitions behind them. So we're gonna start with the top, extra. So if you hear your kids saying that something is extra, that means it's unnecessarily dramatic. If you hear your kids say something is snatched, it could have one of two meanings. Either it's fashionable or they're supporting an insult. If the kid talks about a fit, what they're describing is someone's outfit. If they say something is on fire, they mean that it's very cool. If someone is throwing shade, this means that a person is being sneaky or not honest. And if they're saying something is low key, it could mean slightly, secretly, or maybe even modestly. Someone who's salty is someone who's very annoyed. And if someone, if they say someone is able to slay something, that means they're doing it really well. A kid who is shook means that something's been negatively impacting them. Cap means someone is lying about something. If someone is says that you are flex or flexing, they're showing off. Something lit means amazing. So a lot of kids who have language disorders, these sorts of ideas are really difficult for them to be able to understand. So helping your kids learn these is really important, not only for their social well-being, but it's also super great for academics to increase their ability to think more flexibly. So to be able to know that fire is not necessarily the literal meaning, but you can have the slang meaning as well. So that outfit, is on fire. Or if you want to be really slang, you, a real slang user, you could say that fit is on fire. And don't forget that right now, based on everything that's been going on, a lot of our kids might be shook 